Welcome back, folks. We're still dealing with polygons here. Uh, we did an intro of the different sizes and shapes of polygons in the last one. Um, now I want to look at the pieces of a polygon. So let's say, let's say that I have a hexagon. Hexa again is a a six six sided shape figure. Okay, and uh, that's not very good. But okay, so this would be a hexagon because it has six points, six angles that it makes up in six sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So it has six points and six sides. Okay, so let's let's find some some labels on here. This, as you probably could guess, is called a side. This is a side of the polygon. It's one of the uh, it's made up of a line segment. Line segment. So it has an ending as an ending, and uh, the important part of a side is that it's connected only to two other sides, and it's only connected at the vertices. So this is connected here and here to this other side and this other side. So if I had another one, like if I had another side coming off that way, or say you know say that made something else, that that wouldn't be a polygon. That'd be more than one polygon. But if I didn't have that, if I didn't have that, let's see if I can get rid of it here. If I didn't have that, then I could call that a polygon. And that polygon would be made up of these sides, of which there are six. Um, another thing that I can label here, this is called a vertex. Vertex, we talked a little bit about that in the last video, vertex. And this is where uh, the line segments join. So joins, joins the line segments. Segments. Okay, so this is basically the anatomy of a polygon. This is true. So you have sides and vertices for a triangle, for a quadrilateral, for a hexagon, so on and so forth. Now, by convention, uh, we label polygons based on their vertices. So I would, if I were going to label this, I'd say that maybe this was polygon um, uh, A, B, C, D, E. F. Okay, so if I were going to label this, I'd say it's a, it's hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F. Again, labeling the vertices, not the sides. Like, I wouldn't say that this is side A. I would call that segment side A, B. And it's made up of a line segment, so I'd put a line segment over it. Or I could have, I could have this segment here, which would be A, F, or F, A. So I could have A, F. Uh, or or FA, and I would name it that way. So if I wanted to talk about this side, I would say side AF. If I wanted to talk about this angle or this vertex, I'd just call it A. A. Now, there are also some other things we can look at when we're talking about a polygon. So let's get another, another hexagon here. I like hexagons. Another hexagon. We can say, say again that this is A, B, C, D, E, F, okay, give some room here. So we could say that A, B, A, B is one of the segments, okay, so this would be segment A, B, and I could say that that is next to the segment B, C, so next to, to B, C. So those are segments that make up those are sides of the polygon itself. So when two things are next to each other, like AB is next to BC, if you want to talk about sides, or vertex A is next to vertex B, we have a special term for that in geometry. We're going to call next to, we're going to say next to, we're going to call those consecutive. Consecutive. So I'd say that AB and BC are consecutive sides. Consecutive, just like in everyday use, consecutive means in a row, you know, in this order, consecutive next to. So I could go in this order, A, B, and then I'd go B, C, and then C, D, and then D, E, and then E, F, and then F, A. Now we contrast that by saying, well, what about segment A, B is not next to, not next to, not touching, not next to, uh, I don't know, say E, D. Those two... Those two are connected through the polygon, but they don't touch each other directly, right? I'd have to go through another side to connect these two lines. So we're going to say not next to, 
or not touching, not next to. We're going to call those non-consecutive. Non-consecutive. Running out of room here. Consecutive. Non-consecutive sides. So I could say, for this example here, AB is not consecutive to DE, or FE, or EF, or DC, or CD. It is consecutive to AF or BC. Those are touching. I can also say that for the vertices. A is consecutive to F and is consecutive to B, but is non-consecutive with C, D, and E. They do not touch one another. They're not, they're not um, connected by a line, basically. And that idea brings us to our last definition, which is, well, what happens if you draw a line between things that are not consecutive? So let's say, let's say F and D are not consecutive. So F and D, F and D, vertex F and D are non-consecutive. I'm glad they picked such a nice short word that you can you know, write easily. Non-consecutive. Okay, so F and D are non-consecutive, and if I connect them with a line, which should be straight, but it's not, this line, this line here, is called a diagonal. It's called a diagonal. And so a diagonal is, in, is contrasted to a side. ED would not be a diagonal because that's one of the sides of the polygon. But FD is a line drawn between non-consecutive vertices. It goes through the polygon, and so that is called a diagonal. It's not a side. It would be diagonally through the polygon. Same thing would be true for EC, or AD, or AE, or EB, or AC, right? Or BF, or BD. So you can draw yourself a nice little star there or shape uh, in the middle of the polygon, but these would be diagonals. Diagonals are in the middle of the polygon, and this is an important idea as we move into quadrilaterals to recognize the difference between um, consecutive sides, uh, AB and BC, and non-consecutive sides, AB and ED, or uh, consecutive vertices, maybe A and B, or A and F, and non-consecutive, A and D, A and C, A and E. Uh, so that's that's the general idea here, that we want to be able to classify sides and vertices as consecutive or non-consecutive, and we want to know that the vertex uh, of, or a vertex of a polygon is where two line segments come together, and that the sides of a polygon are made up by line segments.